Artifacts of Mars. This is actually an ongoing story. A uh, so-called doctor in the Detroit area apparently performed general mutilation and on at least as many as 100 girls before she got caught doing this. Now, it's a terrible, terrible procedure. It's disgusting. It's commonly practiced in many places uh, due to religious reasons. Let's put it this way. Federal prosecutor dropped the bombshell in court Wednesday telling federal judge that the government estimates that as many as 100 girls might have had the generals caught in the hands of a local doctor and her cohorts. So this is a woman doctor, by the way. Interestingly enough, the assistant U.S. attorney Sarah Woodward disclosed some information while trying to convince, her, convince a judge to keep a doctor and his wife locked up in the historic case. It involves allegations that two Minnesota girls had their genitals cut in the Livoni Clinic in February as part of a religious rite of passage and were told to keep what happened a secret. Due to the secretive nature of this procedure, you're unlikely to ever know how many children were cut by Dr. J. N. Woodward said, referring to the lead defendant in the case. Later adding, the missiles of victims were not first victims. Uh, this is coming to your uh, country. Thanks to a certain religion. The government believes that three defendants, all members of a local Indian Muslim sect subjected numerous girls to general cunning procedures over a 12 year period. To date, the government it says it has identified eight victims, including two Minnesota girls, though Woodward said government estimates there could be as many as 100 victims. She said that's a conservative estimate that's based on Dr. Tars alleged admission to authorities and he let N use his clinic up to six times a year to treat children for genital rashes. And our lawyer, Mary Chartier, scoffed at the claim. I think government has overstated that many aspects of this case and this is one more example of overreaching. And this goes on and on. You see, if you're not familiar with channel mutilation, they don't basically keep uh, women and girls. Is, they want women to just be there for their husband, and they don't want them to have any feelings, so they can't go running around with other men, so they basically cut everything off and it's down there. And, they sew up the hole or something. It's disgusting. Now, here's a defense that's being planned, apparently. Uh, they plan on the religious defense. Legal experts say the First Amendment doesn't bend that far. It's an interesting choice of words. Law, on paper, the law seems clear. Coming any far of a young woman's... Excuse me one second. Coming any far of a young... Woman's channels is illegal. And no customer ritual can be used to justify it. The law's been on the book for twenty books for twenty one years unchallenged. But in a federal courtroom in Detroit, a landmark case involving century old centuries old taboo ritual is about to put that law to the test for the first time. So there you go, this is uh 
you know, you know what, you uh, import certain religion, and this is what you get. Women start to be generally mutilated, so they're nothing more than pleasure centers for their husbands. There you go, libs. Uh, let me ask you liberal women or something. You uh, want to open our open up our borders, or you want to have your uh, genitals mutilated like this? Become nothing more than a sexual toy for your husband? Is that what you want? I mean, you want to import all the you want to import all these uh, people who come from these cultures that do this. So do you want do you want to undergo this procedure? Are you willing to go that far? Or are you gonna start waking up and say, "Hey, something's gotta be done to limit some things here." I mean, you can't have it both ways. You import this culture, and you want uh, liberal women may wind up under the knife, having certain things cut off, and you're not gonna like it. Well, you'll have to figure that out for yourselves. Do you want this or not? You import these cultures, uh, this is your future. I'm sorry, you can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, okay, we'll bring it in and bring all these people in, but everything's going to be rosy. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. One way or another. So, do you liberal women uh, want your genitals cut? Or do we start limiting some things here? It's one way or the other. There's no third alternative here. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.